intelligence quotient is not a determinant of success. You could be, have an extremely high IQ, but it doesn't mean to say you'll be successful. And the writer upon which I'm basing my talk this morning, Paul Stoltz, would say, even a high EQ, intelligence quotient, is not necessarily a determinant of being success. Stoltz posits that for you to be successful, you need a high AQ, adversity quotient. They are all linked to get together. But he believes that your capacity, not only to cope with adversity, but to make the most out of it, will be a determinant of your success. So there is a positive correlation between success <coughs> and your capacity to manage adversity. But there was somewhere in the Asian districts, there was a way of catching monkeys using a coconut. Put your hand up if you know about the story. You don't. Okay, the way, the way that the hunter caught the, co the monkey was this. They would take a coconut and they'd cut off the top and, in, and then they'd take out the pit, the milk and the pit. And then inside the coconut, they would put the monkey's version of McDonald's, <laughs> berries or fruit. Then they'd tie the coconut to a strong branch of the tree. Now the monkey would come along, see the food inside the coconut, reach in, and grab it. He'd grab the food, but in so doing he made a fist around the food, a fist that couldn't come out of the coconut. And the monkey didn't realize that to gain the food, first he had to let go of it. So when you come across something in your life, try not to get stuck in that coconut. Sometimes you just have to let go of it to be successful. Sometimes you need to let go of it to win. Sometimes you need to let go of adversity, let go of this negative wall, let go of the self-talk. And when you do that, you become emotionally aware. And the chances of you, ladies and gentlemen, maximizing who you are as students in this institution, given many, many huge opportunities, not only maximizing it, but when you graduate, to become the leaders of, of countries and organizations throughout the